Hola, Smatas. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm filming everything. Ah, if you don't mind, I'm yeah, just I doing mind. something uh, yeah, for my project for Lithuania to bring ah. some footage how it is in Tarifa, you know. Ah. Maybe more people will come later. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, then. Yesterday, make some pictures for you. Oh, yeah. oh wow, nice ones. Yeah. You. This is. Yeah, yeah. This is our instructor, yeah? Yeah. Valentina is like model now. <laughs> yeah. So it's gonna be used for you, no problem, I can give you. Like, first friendship meeting, you know. I just like to make pictures and videos, that's yeah, yeah. my hobby. Nice. <laughs> Why you use uh, core uh, kites? It's good kites? Yes, we have Cabrina and core. Um, we are always like not trying and testing. Like, we have a, a lot of years with Cabrina, mm -hmm. but now core is, core is very good quality. It's very good quality. I'm looking for board core. Do you have for sale? Yeah, Can be used. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just pass me your email or something and I give you because good if you have an iPhone maybe we can No I don't transfer. have iPhone the they can give you Look this one funny eh? <laughs> Yeah, do I need uh, something special? You take all the gear for you, mm -hmm. it's ready for you, okay? Okay, something else? No, payment mm. at the end when we oh, know... payment and then? No, at the end, because when we know how many hours a day we do, because ah. today and tomorrow is win, yeah. we don't know about after tomorrow, looks like no win, we will see. Yeah, don't need passport, nothing. I trust you, I don't need anything. Okay. okay? Some yeah, maybe could you show me this uh, board? Coral. Ah, yeah, 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 it's really Did you ever try s s Soul Custom Boards? It's over there. They have workshop. He's making handmade custom boards. Yeah, here is some places they make custom boards. Yes, we don't have custom boards. We have, this is from, we have uh, from Cabrina, uh, but most of them we have Crazy Fly. Uh, we have also Core and Brunota. I have a core kite, Nexus. Ah, nice. So I would like to, but first generation. Yeah. Second hand, but I think it's good. Yeah, yeah. The, the good thing is they are they last a lot. I mean, the life of the kite is. Okay. So I was looking for board. It's gonna have any board new, but new is more expensive. These ones are for test. I mean, uh, we can sell it second hand, and they have some discount. But it depends which size you need and which model of board. So what is total price here? 25 off? Depends on the board because it's not the same price every one. 500 something. Mm -hmm. 20, uh, sorry, do you have something special? You know there is like a special thing for a GoPro camera to attach here with screws. You're not selling any accessories for no. GoPros? I know which shops. They can have it that because they have some things for the GoPro. That is, you know, in the way to the beach, there is a shop on the right side. The name is Othu. You know, just write me later prices uh, about boards, second-hand core ones, okay? Okay. On WhatsApp. They used to have things for GoPro. Okay. What's your name? Nacho. Nacho. Yes, like the chips. Nacho. Send me your email. Yes, uh, I, I send, send you in the WhatsApp. Email. And and prices uh, yeah. on boards. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Ah, Matt.
Matteo. You call me Matteo. Normally my name is, means Matteo. Yeah, but in my country it's Matas. Lithuania. Latvia. Yeah, neighbors. Neighbors meeting in the head of Europe. Yeah. What's the first thing we're looking for? Wind. And when we see we have wind, what do we look into the wind? Uh, direction. Exactly. Can you tell me what the direction of the wind Flags is? Flags showing and yeah. we can feel it like that. So, what is the direction? So when we show a direction, it's not where it comes from, it's where it goes. Aye, where it goes. So that's our okay. wind direction. Yes. Okay? And if you look people with kites, all of them, we are back to the wind. Okay, because the wind gonna push my kite in front of me. So if that's the wind direction and I'm back to the wind, we used to say that we have 90 degrees of each side. On my left, on my right, my kite can fly until here. But obviously my, my kite cannot go backwards because the wind is pushing it. Okay? And the space, the area where my kite is flying, is a compass effect because I'm attached to my kite here, so my kite can fly in all all this area. Okay? Yes. Sounds more or less clear? Yeah, this is calling uh, wind window. The wind window, exactly. You know it. I've been reading little. Bit. Okay. <laughs> it's good. So that's the wind window. Do you know things about the wind window? I can I can say something, yes? Yeah. I know that uh, the center it's the most powerful place. Yeah. Here kite it's neutral on the when you 12, uh, 12 o'clock. 12, 12, 12 o'clock is above yourself. Yes. 12 yeah. o'clock is neutral and kite not so powerful. Yeah, I would say uh, you know this kite is nah it's not at 12, but let's say that from yeah, but that's it. In front of you you have more wind. All my hat, all yes. the wind is getting in. Yes. The more I'm going one side, left or right, I lose power. When you see people riding, the blue kite is going to his left. The pink kite is going to his right. 11 and 1, moving. Exactly, Eight. kind of. Yes. Like it would be 10 and 1, yeah? But no kite is moving here. Okay? So when we do kite surfing, we split the wind window in half. And then we have, if you come here, okay, Mateo, move the kite on your left window. You will go to Africa. Okay, come back to the shore. Like that kite. Come back to the shore, it means that uh, to the our beach. spot? To the beach. Beach okay. direction, Africa direction. You will use right and shore, no it left, right. What for? Uh, for example, uh, go, go on left your left or go right. Normally I will tell you go on your right window or go on your left window. Yes. Okay? And, and into this wind window we have two special places that we call the security areas. You know them? Here and here. We call it 3 o'clock and we call it 9 o'clock. From 3 to 9 we have a rainbow. 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10, and 9. All the kites you see in the air that are not kiting, they are on this rainbow. This one is on the rainbow. This one is at 10 o'clock, so there's no power. Power of my kite is when I will dive the kite yes. into my wind window. Yes. Okay? Uh, take it account that this is me. It only works when I'm here. You are my 9. You are my 3 o'clock. If I want the flag to be my 3 o'clock, I need to move. Why do I say that? Because when my kite is set up on the sand and I pretend I want to launch my kite, when I'm back to the wind with my bar, my kite has to be at 9 or at 3 or at 9. If your kite is inside and you launch, you fly, you fly and you hurt yourself and it's an accident. So the basic is how to position yourself regarding your kite. And can you repeat again? Yeah. To understand. So when when I've my kite is pumped, I pack my kite yes, on the sand, yes, yes. I put my lines, I take my bar, mm -hmm. now I need to move. And when I'm here, back to the wind or there. If my kite is in front, I have a big problem. 
yeah, because my kite window. is into my wind it's window. Curious. It can be here. Yeah. But when someone helps me to open the kite, there's wind into it and I fly. So the best is uh, three or for nine. security, three or nine. Correct. But it can be low or high. No, three or nine is the ground. It's the ground. Three or nine is ground. And uh, high, uh, it's mean 12. 12 is up. Up. 12, is, there's nothing in front. In front is power area. Yes. We don't like power area. We okay. like power area when we no. have skills. No. No? no. Look, there's a lot of people doing really good kite. You will never see a kite going like this into the kite area. Ah. Never. Never. You so have too much power. We're not going here. We're no. going here, here. If you have the wind window like this, okay, and this is your power area. Yes. We go from this and this. We never go here. Okay. Because if I move my kite in front of me, the kite is pulling me that way. How do I have to put my legs? Like this? It's not comfortable. Like this? No. But when I go there, or when I go there, I can go. Okay? So you use the most core, guys. Yep. And Nexus. Yep. You like it? Yeah. It's good. That's, uh, that's the first year we work with core. I've been teaching for this school for 13 years with Cabrinha, but we have decided to make a little change. It's really, really good kite. Oh, it's not about breaking, it's just about just the bag. They are big, you can put the kite easy. There are a lot of little details that make you think yeah. that these guys, they do kite surf. Yeah, I buy first generation Nexus. Yeah? Uh, nine, uh, you? Yeah, I have already. Ah, oh, you have a kite? I can. Wow! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't kill yourself. I'm not, that's why I'm talking with that's you first. <laughs> that's the good way to do it. Okay, so when you pack a kite, normally you roll one side and the other side, so we have these two rolls. Yes. Okay? This is called the rib, the central rib, the middle one. You see the middle run of that one? When the kite is at 12, your rib is giving you the wind direction. And when the kite is moving down up, it's telling you if the kite goes up or if the kite goes down. So the central rib can... Be, you see that, that rib, for example, now it's going up. You see? We can clearly see. Now if you make the kite go down, you will see that the rib, boom, is going down. Okay? If you look at your kite, it's, it's like this and like this. Yes. It's like an arrow. Yes. And the arrow is going up or down. Yes. Really, really good tips. Yes. Okay? The so first, always connect your pump leash. Yes. Middle rib, leading edge. Take off the plastic part, and now you can connect the tube. Okay? I can pump, yeah? Yep, and you can go pumping. Perfect. Okay, touch your kite. You see that the kite has to be well inflated. It's tough. Okay? Yes. Never do this because everything can fly away. I never forget. Okay? Yes. So always keep That's your feet okay. on the pump. Yes. Okay? When I'm like this, I can bring the kite to me. I can take off the tube. I'm not losing air. And I close the valve. Okay? Yes. I can disconnect. I don't care about my pump. My pump is not going to fly away. My kite is going to go. Okay? So, first security rule. Whatever happens, when you need to take a kite, you always take the kite from the inflated part and from the middle. Never take a kite from a side. Because you lose the stability and the control. I, I know it's going to happen, so I'm not scared. You're scared, you drop, if someone is attached, 
and never, never, ever grab the back side. You're gonna have big trouble, okay? Now imagine, there are rocks. I cannot go to the middle. Okay? And this is also what we call the transport position. If I need to move with my kite, I can go wherever I want. Okay? Now we need to park the kite. So to park the kite, we flip the kite. If I want to park my kite on my right, right hand over, left hand under, and I walk with the kite. And if I walk enough, the kite is in the wind direction. If I make this mistake, I can turn the kite again. Okay? And whatever happens if we have light wind or strong wind, sand on the leading edge close to the central rib. So the kite stop flapping. Okay? So, the kite flies with four lines. So the first thing we do is we check our four pre-lines. Okay? We check there is no knot because sometimes you don't see it when it's like this. You see this? It's almost... So always check your pre-line, take your time, be sure that the direction line is not getting like this, for example. Okay, these are little mistakes. You have to take care. Okay? Okay. Now, you will have to believe me, but when we have a kite in our hands, the color, the clear color is always our left hand. And the dark, black, whatever, is always our right hand. And why? Because like this, it's a rule. Because if tomorrow I give you the bar like this, you don't know, oh, what's right and what's left. Mm -hmm. When I started kite 17 years ago, my bar was completely black. So I was kiting, I fall, my bar was turning half, I was putting left, it was going right. Yes. Okay? So, we have tips on bars. Nothing written. When you drop the bar on the sand, you have to see nothing. If you see the brand, not good. Okay? So I leave, I leave my, yeah, it's a short lines, okay? And I leave my lines on the sand. Come with me. Okay? Yes. No more lines around my bar. I don't see the, the brand. Sorry. ¿Cómo estamos? Un dolor de cuello, tío, me flipas. ¿Cómo? Tengo un dolor de cuello, me flipas. ¿Sí? ¿De qué de los pas? Yeah. Bueno. Like this, we can separate our lines. Okay, don't drop them. Keep walking until the end. Walk, walk, walk. Okay. And now you can walk. Oh, you should not. You should not drop it. It's that one. Okay, you can walk here, you can tense your line, I see it reach my bar, and I leave it. I go to the other side and I do the same. Okay, each, each group of two, we, had, we have what we can call the female connector and the male connector. We have different ones because like this, if we make that mistake, oh, something's wrong. Or, oh, something's wrong. Okay, so when I'm find my two lines I don't give a fuck about male I take the female it fold over itself form a heart and I pass the line through the heart then I take the male I have two knots I go in between in the middle and I close 
this is really strong. Oh yeah. No problem. The more you're gonna fly, the more it's gonna tense, the more it's gonna close the knot. Okay. Okay? Should I try it? Yeah. So always go for the female. Yep. Like yeah, and you pass the line into it. To make a bigger hole, no? Forget that one for the moment. Yeah, that's it. And now you can push the male and just after this. And you close. Like yeah. It's funny, yeah? It's really strong, eh? Yeah. And always at the end. And the end. Just side. really... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we all think it's not gonna hold, but it's... So you can connect that one. Okay, everything is okay? No. Okay. I did it. Ah, okay. Sorry. Most of my students, when I do this, I said, it's okay. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say this. No, but I did good. Ah, you did for training, practice. Yeah. Never believe. If you see this, it takes two seconds to grab your line tense and say, okay, there's no problem. Okay? You need to see your four lines. No, no, it's okay. Like Don't worry. No. Yeah, it's not gonna fly. Come with me. Somebody fart a little bit too strong. <laughs> well, they probably they get scared. <laughs> okay, you can pass your legs in between. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. You be warm. You're gonna be warm, maybe, but it's okay. Perfect. Okay. So, you honest? I'm gonna. Yeah. So this part is going on the side. Okay. And good job. When you close the velcro, yeah. you don't need to tight it too strong. Okay. You don't need to to make this like that. It's yeah. just for the harness to hold. Uh huh. While I'm gonna close that one strong. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And a harness, it's really important to find a good height position. It's over your hips. Okay, on your belly more or less, but not too low. That goes there. Then you put the iron stick into the rope, flip the stick over the arrow, pull, and make it get into it. Can I do it myself? Yeah, eject. If, no, wait, if you're into trouble, follow the arrow, pull. Pull to me, and, it's and I would lose all my kite. That's the last security last. step, the last one last. before we have two ones. Que pasa, tía? Okay. Que tal, tío? Muy bien. Me alegro verte. Okay, let's go to the bar, to the kite bar. <laughs> okay, my kite is set up. I'm ready. What is the next step? I'm gonna check my lines again. So I take my bar, hand in the middle, I go backward, I tense and I see. One, two on my right, three and four. There's no thing tangled, everything is okay. Now I don't care about this. Not a problem. Now let's go back to the wind window. Back to the wind. Where are your two security areas? It's security, it's nine and three. Okay. So now I want you to take the bar. I want you to move so you finish with your kite at your nine o'clock. I'm taking now the bar. Take the bar. Where is your nine? When I am back to the wind. There. Okay. Yeah. So your kite has to be there. Yeah. So now I must do something. You must move. Okay. So first of all, I fix this one. After. After? Yeah. Uh, if you go back, go back to the wind. I, go back to the wind. So should I stand like this? Yeah, just to understand how it works. Your kite has to be here. Yes. And my kite is there. Yes. Where do I have to move? That way. If I'm standing like this, yes. Yes, yes. The kite has to be at your nine. Come with me. With the bar? Yeah. 
This is my nine. If I standing like this. Yeah. If wind, it's uh, on pushing my but back. We don't care. If the wind goes like this, my my three will be here, my nine will be here. I will move. So a block view. It's from my face. Always back to the wind. Always back to the wind. That's your wind window. So this is nine, you say? This is this is three o'clock. Three, two, one, twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Yeah, this is nine, like this. But if yeah. you stand like this, it's yeah. still. Yeah, but three. we are not the kiting facing the wind. My yeah, body right. position in yes. kite is always yes, back yes. to the wind. But normally, logically, if wind there and I'm standing like this, this is gonna be nine. Yeah, sure. Because of my face. Exactly. Yeah. Now okay. 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 So find your nine. Where is your nine o'clock? No? You are you are the center of the clock. Your nine is there. Nine is there. Find your nine. <laughs> so I must go there now. No. My nine is there. Is my kite over here? No. Ah you yes. Now my kite yes. is at my nine. Yes, yes. I need to move like you see. Exactly. Okay. okay. Not I am moving. <laughs> the thing is there's okay. no line, there's no tension into my lines. Okay, so it. now I will tense. Okay, that's it. And off. And I look my kite. Okay, my kite is on my nine. How do I know I have a really nine? Because if I tense my line, this line is the more tensed. Okay? If you look the kite and the central rib, my line makes almost a 90 degree angle with the central rib. Mm -hmm. You see it? Yes. I can have more than 90. 100 degrees, not a problem. The big, pro the big mistake, if I'm here, my kite is into the wind window. So now if I ask you, help me to launch, boom, and I fly. So I really have to find my nine. I cannot make any mistake on this. Ask again, I need to find one. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We will repeat it, don't worry. Okay. Once I'm here, I'm gonna connect. So I disconnect my leash, iron goes with iron, and this is called the chicken loop. It goes into my harness, I lift it up, and the stick pass in between. So I don't lose my chicken loop. Okay? From inside? Yeah. And you pass the stick, perfect. And on one side or in the perfect. Okay? Yes. Okay, now let's go to the kite. You're gonna help me launch. So come with me. So I'm connected and I say, Matteo, help me launch. So I take the kite from the middle, move it from the sand, and you go away from me. Away from me and you show me the inside. Can you stay like this? Okay, so you see my bar is at 9 o'clock, my kite is at 9, the kite is flapping, I need to make this stop, you, you hear the kite? It's make noise, don't, don't close it, I just hold it smooth, so I will connect myself and I need to move the wind window backward. I need to create this. You see the difference? No wind, safe. Okay, I can launch. Yes. Okay? You never move. Yes. Because maybe you will have someone who has never do kite. Yes. Can you hold the kite like this? Yes. Take it easy. <laughs> Take the kite more. Yeah, relax. Just relax. That's it. Okay? When you see this, you just let the kite go and you come to me. Okay? Il parle anglais comme moi je parle arabe. First. Second. Now I check my lines. Do you remember? Okay. Let it go, let the kite go. Drop it, drop it. Come to me. No, 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 no. Just release. Let the kite go. 
Hey, drop it! Drop it! Okay, come to me. That's why we call it security area. Nothing's gonna happen. I can leave my kite here. Maybe we have a wind gust. Maybe the kite goes up. But on Earth, we have gravity. So the kite goes down again. Okay? Yes. And nothing's gonna happen. Okay. These two lines, they are called direction lines. If my kite is on my left and I pull right. If I do nothing, the kite on my right. This is my other security area. Why is a kite flying? My kite flies because of the two middle lines. If I drop, the kite stays flying. Now, if my kite falls on my right, no other option than left. If the kite goes on left and is falling left, I have no other option than right. Okay? Yes. Now. How do a kite move? Because of this line. You know, you know what a pulley is? A pulley? A rope going into an iron piece and the rope is going down. And if I want to make this piece turn, I do this. Yes. Works the same. Okay. If I pull left, I release right. If I pull right, I release left. Look the difference of tension. I tense right, I release left. Tense left, no tension on right. Tense right, no tension on left. Actually, we move the kite only with one hand. You see my hand? Only one. If I do this, I do nothing. Yeah, but uh, some people in the middle holding hand is when, not good. Once you know. You can do it like this, but if you need to make, to make a big turn, I cannot make a big yes, turn. Yes. Some people even taking from this. Yeah, it's stupid. Too stupid? Enough here? Look, the thing is, they do this, oh, the kite is not turning. No, look how I can turn my bar. Look how I can turn it if I want to. Okay. You know? But I need to understand how it works. Okay? <laughs> okay. And we're gonna start only with one hand. We're gonna sit on the sand and we're gonna play this. So it's really important that your elbow come to your ribs. I pull the bar, elbow, ribs, kite goes up, I release. Pull, elbow, ribs, release. When I bring my elbow to my ribs, look my bar, it make a turn. Right ribs, left ribs. Right ribs, left. So we're gonna play this. Release, elbow, ribs. Release, elbow, ribs. You see your central rib? When I see the central rib going up, I release. When I see it going down, Elbow ribs, release. Elbow ribs, release. Elbow ribs. From your elbow. Elbow. Elbow comes here. Yes. Like that. Because if you do the car, the yeah, kite yeah. do nothing. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna work with elbow ribs, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Bar up has to be fast because if you're like this and bar up, bar up, now it's going on the other side. Okay? So we need to anticipate our kite. Okay? <laughs> okay. Gonna connect your leash. Yeah, you can connect it here. And connect it. And you can sit down on the sand. Okay. So only left hand. Okay. Not that one. Okay. Elbow ribs. And when the kite goes up, I release. No, wait, wait. Okay, okay bar up. Okay. Elbow ribs, release. Wait, elbow ribs, bar up, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Wait, 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 wait. Elbow ribs, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Elbow ribs, bar up. Ribs, bar up. Okay? Now we are going to add the right hand. Put your right hand on the bar. Easy, easy. <laughs> left elbow ribs. Right elbow ribs. Left elbow ribs. Right elbow ribs. Left ribs. 
Keep left, keep left. Right ribs, left ribs. Right ribs, left. Keep left, keep left. Right and left. Right and left. You see how we exaggerate yeah. my elbows? Left. Okay, wait, left ribs. Right and left again. No, you do the car. You do this and here you do this. Okay, try to forward, backward, forward, backward. Should I uh, hold the uh, bar like side? You should, you sh yeah, exactly. If you keep the bar horizontal, yes. it's not good. You should okay. be a little bit like this. Okay. Backward, forward, backward, wide, forward, backward. Easy, more slow. Forward, slowly, and backward, slowly. And s slowly forward, and slowly backward, and forward, and backward. Forward, backward. Keep like this, and forward, and backward. Forward, backward. Keep back, keep back, forward, backward. So you see when you, you do a good first turn, but then you pull two hands. So you need to release right. You need to make a bit more backward left. That's it. Forward and more backward. That's it. Hold. Backward. Back. Backward left. Left elbow, right elbow. Left elbow ribs. Left elbow ribs. Okay. Right ribs. Left ribs. Right. Left. Keep left, keep left, keep left. And right. And left. Immediately. position or from this, one this, to two move all This is another day. exercise. The first thing is try to move your kite. Okay. Then once you know how to move it, then you can try to keep the kite still like at two o'clock. Make the kite at two I don't want the kite to move from two o'clock. Okay, this is two. Stop the kite here. I don't want the kite to move. Now slowly we go up to 12. So slowly left.
gėda iš tikrųjų, nėra gėda, nesijaudė, nu, taip, nėra emocijos, bet tipo, dabar atrodo geriau būtų, ne, daug kas taip pasakytų, bet iš tiesų instruktorius sakė, kad jau pirmą dieną mes buvom vandenį ir ant lentos bandėm stotis, tai jau čia yra gerai, tai dabar ką jis demonstruoja, va, body draga reikia kaip įsitiesti ir atsipalaiduoti taip apie to pačiu ir pludūriuoti, tai man tas buvo, ką veikti persijungti ant to, Kūno tempimo, o be to aš aitvaro niekada ir šiaip nevaldės gyvenime. Ir ant lentūnės stovės, tai su aitvaru man čia yra rimtas iššūkis, aš niekomet nieko panašaus nesu gyvenime daręs. Nei aitvaro valdyme, nei ant lentos stovėje. Na, ten veik parkė aiššūk, kai trosas tempia, atsistoju, pastoviu, tempia mane, galiu paplaukti ir apsisukti. Bet su aitvaru biškiu, ką kitaip, viskas čia yra, kad pavaldai pažaboju stichyje. Vėja kitą stichiją vandenį ir savo irgi kūniškąją stichiją ir smegenis, kaip tą kūną sugebė pritaikyti prie viso šio susijungimo kartu su vėjų ir vandeniu. Toks būna kaip tarpininkas su šiuo aitvaru. Pažaboji vėja. Tas labai žavi ir smagu. Kaip matot, man dabar body dragas tas vadinamas. Sekasi, įvykdžiau misiją, išmokau šiek tiek tam pyti savo kūną aitvaru. Žiūrėkime, kaip seksis man toliau. Čia man instruktorius aiškina operaciją, kad mes barą, mes barą, kas man yra sunkiausia buvo persirantuoti, nes aš viską sukontroliuoju, atrodo, rankomis, viską jų valdės rankomis. Ir kai kartais reikia paleisti visiškai vairalizdę, ko jis įprašo ir reikalauja, man ne tai, kad sunku paleisti, bet norisi suvaldyti. Kai jis sako paleis, kad tipo nieko nenutiktų, o man norisi paimti ir suvaldyti, kad nieko nenutiktų. Ir bet nieko, čia reikia išmokti ir paleis, kaip sako, gyvenime kažką. Tai tas irgi dalykas reikalingas, kai susipainė ir nukrenta aitvaras, jeigu patems į vieną galą, gali būti nelaimę, pagauti vėjo gūsis, tad dėl saugumo geriausiai yra paleis barą ir tada met aitvaras jisai neturės įtampos ir negalės vėjo gūsio būti pakeliamas ir jūs nutemti toliau. Tad kai tik rankdė gerą vat, poziciją, atsipainėjo į barą, stropos, gali vat, vieną kraštelį pakėlęs ir išsikelti aitvarą atgal tiek iš vandens, tiek nuo žemės. Na, vėl body dragas ir kaip matot, kaip va vyksta vairalizdas valdymas, reikia nebijoti to rimto užlenkimo, kaip sakant, ne kaip vairo, bet va, traukti, stumti, traukti, stumti ir grinai susifokusuoti ties alkūnėm kad paliesti alkūnę šonkulius, paliesti alkūnę šonkulius, kai aš jau įsijungiau šitą mąstymą, kad paliesti alkūnę šonkulius ir stebėjau įtampą tarp stropo, ter stropo, ne, kad jaustų saitvaras mane liktemtų ir tada vat, viskas pradėjo sėktis. Čia dar kartą paprašau trenerio paaiškinti, parodyti, kad jums nufilmuoti patį tą ateimą į vandenį ir startavimą, tai kaip matot, sako, lenta lygiai greičiai net su krantu, o į krantą priešais save, priešais akis, sako, su valdai aitvara, pasiemi jį virš save, susidedi lentą, lentą prieš tave, kaitas prieš tave viršuje, apsižvalgai, vieną į apačią, kitą į viršų, aštuonetą tokį orę turi paišyti, kaip matot, vat aštunkė paišus. Ir jauti, kiek stumti, kiek traukti. Vairalizdė, tai pavadinkim, barą. Nu, ta barą, ne, vairalizdė. Tai ko labiau trauksi, to labiau tave aitvaros trauks. Bus stipresnė jėga, cjongas tas. O štai kaip reikia sudėti taisyklingai stropas, visi suka skirtingai, bet šis treneris rekomenduoja irgi piešti aštunkės. Kraštas, per vidurį kryžiuojam, kraštas, per vidurį kryžiuojam, kraštas, per vidurį kryžiuojam. Ką tik po pirmos pamokos dviejų valandų trukmės. Tai teko ir jau andiniai lipti, kaip matėt. Tai kas įdomiausia, kad smegenis labai persijungia, kai nuo sausumos perlipia į vandenį. Pradeda kūnas, kūno atminti smegenis gražina, kad nori plaukti iš karto rankoms į priekį. Iš tikrųjų reikia dirbti rankomis ar tik kūno su aitvaru, alkūnėmis arčiausiai kūno. O vandenį į šokus su aitvaru norisi rankas išties, tas va, smegenys turi persijungti. Mm, 
Šiaip labai geros emocijos. Atsigavau iš karo, man taip patinka tas atvariuko vienas stebėjimo suorė mane, hipnotizuoja, vien žiūrėti į galėčių pastovį, atrodo, o dar jį ir valdyti. Pasakė. On the wheels. I have some pets. I wanted to show you something. For example, something funny. This is normally my toilet and when I'm sitting here I can see this beautiful view mm. all these kite surfers my animal this is cool I think and some people walking of course and they can see us sitting here <laughs> today it's November and um, Thursday and today it's my second kite surfing Taip atrodo, kad baisiai susipainėjo, ką tu čia senis vaiksti, kad tu ten tas susitvarkai, atrodo iš šono. Bet ką noriu pasakyti, kad vandenyje aitvaras daug sunkesnis, sunkiau valdyti, ne valdyti, o orientuotis apskritai, kaip jis įsoj vandenyje ir kaip ten ta trapecija su jie kaip elgtis. Tad va, tenka pasiplaukyti su kateriu ir taip pat yra įskaičiuota į mokymus. Taip pat puikiai patirtis pasibandyti nuplaukti toli nuo kranto, būti per plaukdytam katerio atgal, galbūt treneris ir ne visai didžiuojasi, bet čia ir vyksta mokymosi procesas, kai šiek tiek apsimesti kvailėlių ir ne visuomet tobulai stengtis gauti geriausią pažymį, o pabandyti įvairias situacijas, kurios gali nutikti. Bet tikrai pripažinsiu, kad tikėjusi, kad geriau susitvarkysiu ir greičiau pramoksiu šio užsiemimo, tai va dabar Paleidžia treneris mane jau vandenį savarankiškai su lenta ir acija ant ausės, bet ne, šią dieną va būtent, šią dieną atsimenu raciją kaip tik pas jį neveikia, dėl to aš ir nuplaukiau toli nuo kranto, su kateriu teko mane parplaudyti ir ten aš atsišuoviau ir bandžiau parplaukti rankomis, iš tiesų su kaitu, žinokit, plaukiau, kol kateris atplaukė iki manęs, aš kokias ten 10-8 minutės plaukiau, plaukiau, nu 5, kokias gerai, bet laikas kriai atrodo greitai. Ir vyniavau, vyniavau, žinokit, kaip inkaras tas aitvaras ir jeigu taip nutiktų kažkur kai jūs nuputė ir parsiplūkdyti aitvarą savo raumenų jėga, pasakysiu, tikriausiai sunkiai įmano. Nu, o dabar apie dabartinius kadrus visu ekrane, pademonstruosiu, kaip užsidėti lentą 
ir kaip startuoti iš vandens jau savo rankiškai kaip džigitas lapuolai vandenu, kad tai tenka va, su aitvaru, viena ranka valdyti aitvarą, kitą ranką laikyti lentą ir bristi į vandenį per bangą šokti, pasipriešinti ir vėjų, ir valdyti aitvarą, ir žiūrėti ir galvoti kūrėjini ir dar tą pasipriešinimą. Tai va, kitaip tariant multitaskinimas konkretus. Kaip radau būdau sidėti lentą arba kaip mane mokino, tai yra pasidėti lentą prieš į save horizontalį su vieną rankytė vat pastumi, pasijamu kampą tinkamą, įsispirti kaip iš liūres į kroksius kokius, na ir pirmas dalykas, turi nusiraminti jau pasijamęs poziciją, apsižvalgyti ir aplinkti vieną yra kliučių ar kitų žmonių ir ramiai sau pradėti leisti vieną kampą, kitą kelti reikiamų laiku ir piešti tokią aštunkę danguje ir kaip matote man čia dabar nesiseka dėl to, kad aš darau klaidą, kad iš kart dešininį kampą leidžiu į apačią, o reikėtų pradėti užmesti kairį ir tada tokį į apatinį stogių posūkį ir čia man va, taip šiek tiek ir vėjas pakrito dar kažkas ir dar nesupratau to pasiėmimo, o jau trečią dieną treniruočių, kaip matot, jau pagavau kampą, kaip atsistuoti, išsikelti save kūnų to pačiu, nes neturi būti kaip pinkaras, neturi leisti aitvaro viso darbo atidirbti, turi šiek tiek ir su savimi kūnų susijungti su aitvaro ir jausti jį. Esminis dalykas, va čia trečią dieną aš jau skrėjau ant vandens, užlikau ant lentos, išmokau kaip atsistuoti ir toliau tą dieną treniravausi ir mane vėjas nuputė nuo kranto, teko vėl būti pargabentų katerio, kas papildoma iš tikrųjų kainuoja, jeigu šiandien atvažiuotumėt kaituoti ar savo rankiškai mokintis, tas dalykas 40 eurų kainuoja, 5 katerio parplūkdymai jūs atgal ir tai yra reikalinga, jeigu jūs pradžia mokslis, toks kaip aš, mokinys savo rankiškai, na ir va po tos dienos, kai aš va, atistuojant lentos, pradėjau mokyti savo rankiškai su savo įrango ir kaip man tai sekėsi daryti savo rankiškai, aš įkelsiu tolimesnius video, 